everybody, my name is Monica Salapia and I am here to present Sports Nutrition for the Kiddos. A little bit about myself, I am a registered dietitian and I am in the Applied Nutrition program through the Sage Colleges. I played sports all throughout high school including soccer, swimming, lacrosse, and then I ventured into weightlifting, yoga, and Pilates and I'm still an active adult today. I believe that food is fuel, and this is especially important for the adolescents, and that is why I bring to you sports nutrition for the adolescent. Fueling with the athlete. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are the preferred energy source of fuel, especially when we are active. Carbohydrates come in the form of mostly plant foods like grains, legumes, fruits, vegetables, but dairy also provides carbohydrates as well. When I say carbohydrates, think energy and think hydration. Every one gram of glycogen, which is the storage form of carbohydrate in the human body, holds up to four grams of water. So that is why carbohydrates play a role in hydration as well as energy. We talk about complex carbohydrates, and these are really best to get two to three hours before a game. That's because complex carbohydrates are slow really uh, to break down they give us a steady supply of energy and they stabilize our blood sugar oatmeal is a really great source of complex carbohydrates whole wheat bread is as well about 30 to 60 minutes before a game we need some energy that is quick so we like to talk about simple carbohydrates because they give us a quick release of energy bananas are a really great source and granola bars like a cliff bar are a good idea just because they give a quick source of energy. Here are some examples of carbohydrate rich foods that are really important to get when you're being physically active. Now let's talk about protein. Protein is really important for growth and repair. Adolescents are growing into their mature adult bodies, but especially when they're engaging in sports and physical activity, it's really important that they get enough protein so that they can repair their muscles and be recovered for the next sports event. Protein needs increase in the adolescents, again, because they're growing, but because they're also playing in the sports. When we talk about uh, needs, we're looking at 0 0.85 grams per kilogram of protein a day in 14 to 18 year olds, and 0 0.95 grams per kilogram per day in four to 13 year olds. And of course, if you'd like to get a more specific number, I would recommend you see a registered dietitian because there's a lot of different factors that go into calculating protein needs. Protein is especially important to get after a game or a sporting event, and it's recommended to eat 12 to grams of protein within 30 minutes. That's because this window is the opportune time for muscle glycogen to be maximized. And remember, muscle glycogen is that storage form of carbohydrate. And this is going to help us um, be recovered for the next event. Yogurt and eggs are really great sources of protein, especially in the morning when you're starting off your day. And then also chicken, fish, and tofu are other examples of protein. Here are more examples of protein. Now let's move on to the third macronutrient, fats. Fats are the second source of um, energy for the body. So when I say fats, think of energy and also think of function. And as I said before, they are the preferred source of fuel when we're at rest, and that includes lower intensity activities such as walking, studying, or even sitting down for this presentation. We're using mostly fats as fuel. They play in a very important role in multiple functions in the body. So hormones are fat-based. Brain health is heavily reliant on getting healthy fats in our diets, especially we talk about omega-3s. Omega-3s are essential fatty acids that are really important in brain health, and they also uh, fight inflammation, which is really important, especially when we're getting sore muscles. It's because of inflammation. So again, having fats in the diet is a very important for the adolescent. Here are some good sources of fats to include, like avocado, salmon, olives, or almonds. The most important advice to give to the athlete is to drink water. Water, of course, functions in hydration and also a cooling effect on our bodies. It's really important to understand that all of our fuels travel through water. So our carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, and minerals 
are all brought to the tissues of our bodies through water. Also, oxygen and, and carbon dioxide are exchanged through water. And when we're exercising, we start to breathe heavier, and that's because we're expelling that carbon dioxide. So again, having adequate fluid is going to really help um, expel the waste product like carbon dioxide and bring op fresh oxygen to our working muscles. Now why it's really important, especially for the adolescent, is because adolescents don't really cool down as properly as the adult body does. And that's because kids produce more heat and they have a higher sweat threshold. So again, being properly hydrated is going to help them sweat more efficiently and then they're going to cool off more efficiently. So drinking water before, during, and after is extremely important for the student athlete. And during exercise, we recommend about five ounces of water every 20 minutes for the 40 kilogram person, eight ounces of water every 20 minutes for a 60 kilogram person. Of course, drinking just plain water is a great go-to. If you're looking to freshen it up with fruits or fresh herbs, that's a good idea. Uh, fruit juice can be recommended, but I uh, encourage um, to dilute it so that way you're not getting too many grams of sugar. Same with sports drinks. Um, you can dilute them because they're really loaded with um, added carbohydrates, which are important, but you don't need that much. Also, milk is a good source of fluid, protein, and carbohydrate. Here I'll show you some quick recipes that are great for the student athlete. We'll go through a breakfast, a lunch recipe, and something for post-workout or after a game. For breakfast, a berry chia oatmeal includes a good source of complex carbohydrates, healthy fats from the chias, and some vitamins and minerals, and also carbohydrates from the strawberries. Caribbean chicken with coconut brown rice is a great dinner recipe that you can also pack for lunch leftovers. I would really strongly suggest that you make sure the, your student athlete can keep this cold enough until lunchtime and has a proper way to heat it up because food safety is very, very important. But again, this is a great recipe to include complex carbohydrates from the rice and a lean source of protein from the chicken and also vitamins and minerals from the bell peppers as well. And lastly, a post-workout strawberry smoothie is really great for, again, that growth and repair and to maximize that muscle glycogen synthesis. So a quick, simple recipe is some ice cubes, frozen fruit like strawberries, of low-fat Greek yogurt, um, maybe some unsweetened almond milk or water, whatever liquid of your choice. Blend those all together, and then you can top it with a tablespoon of pistachios or other nuts, again, to include those healthy fats. Thank you for watching this presentation. If you'd like more information on sports nutrition for the adolescent, please visit the following resources or shoot me an email at mindonnutrition at gmail.com.